everyone, welcome back to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith. This is going to be a quick news and updates video, and at the end, I'm going to have a contest to give away a game. So stick around for that. I just wanted to start by mentioning that for the last week, I've been working on painting up some miniatures for the game Guild Ball, which is a game I'm hoping to show here on the channel. But I haven't painted miniatures in a long time and it's going very slowly. <laughs> so there's going to be a, a slight uh, interruption to the regular programming here on the channel while I'm working to paint those miniatures up so I can actually start recording them for you. Keep an eye on our Twitter page and on Facebook. I'm putting up some pictures there. You can kind of see how my progress is going if you're interested. Also, it's tax time and Revenue Canada would like some of my money, so I need to uh, make sure I get those done. So it's just going to be a slight, slight disruption to the recording schedule. Uh, we're still going to be putting out videos, of course, they just might not be coming as fast and as furious as normal. But soon we'll be back on track. Speaking of content, a few hours from now, uh, at the time of this recording, of course, Pep and I are going to be going live with another one of our live Q&A videos. We try to have these once every three weeks. This is additional content that was unlocked during last season's fundraiser. We try to answer questions, talk about games and news, and get up to some form of shenanigans. So I hope you'll join us. I'll put a link to that video in the description of this one. I also need to say a huge thank you to our friends over at Cool Mini or Not. During our last season's fundraiser, we wanted to be able to offer a custom miniature to backers. But the cost to me, mailing out individual miniatures all over the world, would have been astronomical. It would have chewed up any of the funds that that would have raised. So we shelved that idea. But then my friend over there, Spencer Reeve, came up with a great idea. What if they included an optional add-on with another Kickstarter they're already running? And that way, the miniature is just added on to shipping they're already planning to do. It's not going to cost a whole bunch extra. And that's what they've done with Masmora Dungeons of Arcadia. They've created a Luke the Lucky miniature that works in that game, which is its own game, although it's in the same universe as Arcadia Quest. It's a separate game. But it can also be brought over and used in Arcadia Quest as well. That's a game that we featured here on the channel and Luke and I did a playthrough of. So if you joined us for that session, if you'd like to pick up this miniature, then you can do so by going over there. You do have to back the Mass Mora project itself, which may or may not be of interest to you, but this was just a kind gesture to make it even possible to create this opportunity. Because the optional add-on, all of the proceeds from that come directly here to watch it play to support us. So if you're already backing Mass Mora and you'd like to be able to get an extra cool miniature and also support Watch It Played, that's something you can add on. Or maybe this is just something you'd like to check out to see if the game would interest you at all. I'll put a link in the description of this video so you can check it out. Again, thanks to Spencer and all the team over there at Cool Mini or Not who helped put this together. Next, I'd like to mention something else you can support. My friends over at the Rolling Dice and Taking Names podcast are having their fundraiser right now on Pod Pledge. I love these guys. I love their content. And one of the benefits of having a platform, which I'm very fortunate to have like this one with so many enthusiastic viewers, is that I can occasionally come on here and plug something that I'm excited about and would love to see supported. And that's certainly the case here. If you haven't listened to their content in the past, they also have some YouTube videos as well. I'd encourage you to check it out. If you have enjoyed them in the past, then consider supporting them because Although the content that we consume online is often free, it isn't free to create. It takes time, it takes resources, and it takes talent. So if you enjoy what they do and you have the opportunity, I would ask you to consider supporting their fundraiser as well. And again, if you haven't checked them out before, their content is free. Go check it out. Maybe you'll enjoy their podcast and get hooked like I am. You know what? I should also stop here and explain this t-shirt that I'm wearing because it's also connected to the Rolling Dice and Taking Names podcast. It says, I am Morton Sklorplepsy. <laughs> Marty, one of the co-hosts of that podcast and I were at the Cool Mini or Not Expo last year and we were teamed up in a game of Time's Up and I don't know if you've played that before but it's kind of a charade style game but you can also communicate. He was trying to get me to say X-Files and he thought it'd be really clever to say Mulder and Scully. What a great clue, right? But this game is on a timer, which can kind of jumble up your brain. It was also 1 a.m. And so instead he blurted out, Morton Scorplepsy! <laughs> which that just totally killed the entire table. We died laughing. We had no idea what he was trying to say. And again, it's those kind of wonderful moments that happen at convention experiences. And it just crystallized in my mind and the minds of everyone at the table that night. So I created this t-shirt as a commemoration of that. And I love wearing it anytime that I can, especially when I'm at conventions with Marty, to remind him of, Morton Sklorplepsy. To wrap up, I'd just like to say a quick thank you to you. Thank you for watching this video and any of the other videos that we have on this channel. I know there's lots of things competing for your attention. So I really appreciate any of the time that you do give to us. 
And in addition to saying thank you, I'd like to have a contest to give away a copy of Fuse from Renegade Games to one of you guys. To enter, it's very simple. If you donated at the level during last year's fundraiser that will enter you into all the contests during this year, then you're automatically entered. There's nothing else you have to do. You're in the contest already. But you never have to donate in order to enter our contest. But there is one extra step. You'll need to go to the link in the description of this video and enter in your information, your name, and email address so I know how to reach you if you get drawn to win. There's also a code word that you'll have to enter. On the Rolling Dice and Taking Names podcast, Marty, as I already mentioned, is one of the hosts there. The other host is sometimes affectionately referred to as the other guy. But the other guy has a name. And his first name is the code word you need to enter to be entered into this contest. So enter that in and you have to get your contest entries in by March 19th, 2016. And we'll do a draw shortly after that. That's everything, folks. Until the next episode, thanks for watching.